Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Hall and this is your new moon reading for September 13th through 27th, 2015. So the past moon cycle that we had over the last full supermoon was a very powerful spiritual energy full of deep emotional changes. The spiritual energy seems as if it's going to stay that way into the new moon cycle as we plant new seeds of intention into our lives. So today I decided to work with the Magical Mermaids and Dolphin cards by Doreen Virtue because these are really wonderful cards with delving into the subconscious and deeper emotional state. So I've been getting a lot of messages from the angels and spirits that there are going to be some continued shifts to the collective at a profound subconscious level. So one of the big themes and messages that I'm getting for this time is to take time away from any mental distractions to really listen to and be conscious with and, and intentional with these shifts that are going on at an emotional or deeper subconscious level. So. Without further ado, let's go to the cards and see what they have to say for us today. So our first card here is the Morning Affirmations card. I love this. So this is a card that says that we are beginning a new dawn. We are moving into a world, into a life that is full of brand new energy and full of brand new blessings in it. So this is a very strong message saying that this is the time to plant new seeds. You can do this certainly by saying positive affirmations. Um, the morning is a really wonderful time to do that actually. This card is wonderful as we read it literally as well. Um, but really take some time to plant your seeds and to think about the ways that you want to transform. And the message that I'm getting to guide you with regard to that transformation for yourself is not just to look at maybe the outer world things that you want to transform such as you know my job or my relationship or so forth. And those things certainly are important and very good you know kind of markers of our growth and our changes, our experiences of course. But the message I'm getting is to focus on the internal things that you would like to see change. Such as, for example, perhaps would you like to work on maybe judging less in life or becoming more patient or releasing a reaction that is perhaps one of stress to the world when there is pressure. One saying that I'm remem remembering very strongly at this juncture is from our um, wonderful spiritual teacher in heaven now, Dr. Wayne Dyer, in which he describes us as um, with this metaphor of the orange. He says when pressure comes, when you squeeze an orange, you'll expect orange juice to come out. Not apple juice, not melon juice, not anything else. Um, because when pressure comes in your life, when the you know winds of change and you know circumstance come around you, what is inside of you is what is going to come out. So work on shifting from the inside out and set your intentions for internal blessings, internal changes for yourself. So that's a really great, very new moon themed message because the new moon, as you know, is the time for setting new seeds, for planting new intentions into your life. Let's go ahead and see what our second card says for us. Ooh, the self-employment card is coming up very strong. So this is a card that is really focusing high on your independence in your life right now. They're saying that you have so much good and power to bring into your life by following your own path, by living your life to the beat of your own drum and not being afraid to be a visionary for your life. You don't have to follow the sort of tried and true, beaten down path that was set before you or the expectations of your society or you know, maybe even family and so forth, if you have a strong passion feeling that there is another path for you, that there is something else that you want to grow and expand and do in your life. So this is a big message about don't be afraid to take the, less, the road less traveled by and to be independent because you have power in your independence. This is also a message that's coming through for any of you who have started 
any projects for yourself related to life purpose or career or any creative projects. These, This is a message saying that you've got the power and they're showing us that this is a very good time to implement some energy towards some of the more practical sides of these things, such as, you know, maybe the practical business side of this new project that you want to do for your career or your life purpose um, or the connections that you need to make with others in order to collaborate and just get the practical, give birth to it in a real physical, practical oriented way. Um, so do take some action steps in that area and even continuing with the message of the morning affirmations card, set intentions. Use this as a guideline for how you can um, think about what you want to add into your life in terms of what you can do independently with your own power. Affirm that you can plant seeds for a whole new life for yourself and then begin to imagine, feel, and take action accordingly. You have the power. Let's see our final card for today. Okay, oh, this is the Stay Optimistic card. What a beautiful reading we have for this moon cycle. I love this. Um, stay Optimistic. This is a message that's saying that over here in the beginning, as we planted our new seeds, we got a message that we're starting a new, a new thing. We're beginning something new that feels maybe different than what we had before, maybe is independent or on, again, that road less traveled by, but that you can stay optimistic about these things. Very often when you are following a path that is very independent and full of uncharted territory and things like that, um, it can take a while maybe before we see results, maybe not always, um, but sometimes it really involves you know, a perseverance or if you're seeing that, gosh, I've planted these seeds in my life but they're just not sprouting yet, they're saying be patient and be optimistic and know and trust and have faith that when you plant a seed, if you are watering it, giving it sunlight and all that good stuff, then it's going to come up. You don't want for your dreams and for your intentions for your life, it, it wouldn't make sense to go digging around in the dirt looking for the seeds that you planted and saying, are you ready yet? Have you sprouted yet? <laughs> um, just have faith. This is a message about really having faith in yourself and in these dreams that you've developed for yourself. They want you to know that these dreams are realistic that you have, these hopes, these desires. You are never too old, never too young, never too um, sick or um, fat or, um, you know, lack of confidence or anything to start a brand new beautiful chapter. You get rid of any excuses that you might be telling yourself to hold you back or to delay your path. You are beautiful, you are strong, you are perfect health, and you are perfect confidence your angels want you to know and they say that you have the power to absolutely lead the way into this new beautiful destiny that you have so don't let anybody um, even if it's yourself talk you down at this time because you've got the power and you deserve this wonderful path um, that is going to set forward for you in this time so again this is a very wonderful time of beautiful spiritual and emotional change. We're getting a big reset emotionally as a human collective at this time. So this is a really wonderful time to take inventory of your life and to really get quiet and contemplative and um, perhaps spend some time alone or even spend time with you know the relationship or relationships that mean the absolute most to you in your life. This is such a beautiful time of growth. Now throughout this time of growth I'd love to keep in contact with you so um, if you aren't in touch with me already do like my Facebook page and you can follow me on Twitter and I will leave the links in the description below for that and as always if you would like your own reading your own angel reading or spiritual healing session you can always contact me at my website www.seraphim.com. I'm available to connect via phone, via Skype, or for email readings, which are really fun because then you get to keep the reading to as a keepsake, just to read back on over time with messages from your angels. Um, so do, do go ahead and reach out. I absolutely love to connect with you guys. It's my um, passion and my joy, and you are all my greatest inspiration and teachers. I love you so much. All right. I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful new moon. Go ahead and celebrate 
send your prayers into the heavens and my love and prayers are going with you. Know that you are so loved and so very, very blessed. Bye.